nicely on gears. This weekend, of course, it is the sixth running of the Singapore Grand Prix. Now, it is unique in many, many ways. It's got so many corners, it's ridiculous. 23, I think. They have made a slight change this weekend, and that is at Turn 10. Turn 10 used to be this little stupid Mickey Mouse chicane, and now they've turned it into a much uh, better flowing corner, which should allow for some more overtaking when they get eventually to Turn 13. Um, we saw in GP2 earlier on this morning that lap times improved by about two or three seconds um, per lap in GP2. I can tell you currently at, mo at the moment with 13 minutes left on the session, Lewis Hamilton is three tenths ahead of Mark Webber. Uh, half a second further down the road is Vettel, then Rosberg, Raikkonen, Alonso, Grosjean, Perez, Verne and Button rounding out uh, the top 10. This is a critical Grand Prix for the championship. And we know with all of the shenanigans that are going on uh, in terms of the silly season, if Sebastian Vettel wins this Grand Prix or finishes ahead of the likes of Kimi Raikkonen, Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. Unfortunately, you've got to sit there and say, it seems as though the championship is tickets in favour of um, Sebastian Vettel. But it is uh, a little bit different to the past two races that we had and that of course was Spa and uh, Monza. Spa and Monza quite similar in, in many many ways. Lots of very very fast uh, parts of the circuit whereas this is very much about downforce. This is um, where the Red Bulls have been very impressive um, on any circuit but specifically on these uh, high downforce tracks where getting through the corners um, fast is what uh, is important. So Red Bull um, are definitely the favourites. Sebastian Vettel has won this for the past two years in a row. The worst he's ever finished was fourth. So Red Bull are definitely the, the teams to beat. But I have a feeling that Mercedes are going to find the form that they had a little bit early on in the season as well. As um, we look at the times we see uh, Lewis Hamilton quickest at the moment for Mercedes, it's still early days. But I do think Mercedes are going to have something very, very special. You can't discount Lotus. They're going to be running with the longer wheelbase car this weekend in Singapore. And that should give them, um, well, maybe a little bit of an advantage when it comes to the, uh, the corners on the circuit. Alonso and Ferrari, well, this is make or break for them. And looking at the times at the moment, uh, Alonso is like 1.3 seconds off the pace, although it is still very, very early days. Alonso needs to win this race. He needs to finish ahead of Vettel. He needs to finish ahead of uh, Raikkonen and Hamilton in order to just try and, and give some kind of um, a challenge to Sebastian Vettel for the remainder of the season. But Sasha, why is Alonso so bad in like qualifying? And then well, he manages to do well in the actual race and put himself... Back it's, up a, at least. it's a very good question. In Italy, they they messed it up because they tried to do a towing thing. But Ferrari does struggle on the one lap pace um, for some bizarre kind of reason. They're very very consistent in race pace, but on one lap pace, they just somehow uh, don't manage to get the maximum out of the car. So either they can't get the tires hot enough, and I think that is the main problem. They can't really just get uh, the grip in the car, so that uh, puts them a little second best to the likes of uh, Mercedes, um, Red Bull, and sometimes even Lotus. So, a difficult weekend. It's a magnificent weekend, though. Do yourself a favor and just try and watch the pictures. There are over, I think it's 1.2 million light bulbs that light up the streets of uh, Singapore over this uh, Grand Prix weekend. Uh, it really is something very, very special to see, especially if you do have the opportunity to watch it in high definition. Um, it is quite amazing, the pictures that you get. The drivers, and amazingly, I was reading an article today on Lewis Hamilton. And Lewis Hamilton um, arrives in Singapore and then tries to stay in his UK timeline. So, he, you know, he works in that timeline. But what he does most of the time, he spends most of his time in a sauna so that he can get his body acclimatized to the heat because the, the heat in Singapore, even though they're racing at night, is extraordinary. The humidity is massive. And it is one of the races on the calendar that usually runs to its full two-hour limit um, most often than not. Yes, uh, it is a street circuit, so if there are crashes, um, more than likely you're going to have safety car intervention. 
but it is one of those races where 61 laps in the average lap time, right about 1 minute 40 at the moment, 147, but I'm sure they'll bring that down to about the 144s by uh, qualifying tomorrow, maybe even less. But 1 minute 44, which is, you know, 61 laps, it's a long, long way around these streets. So Hamilton makes sure that he's... Um, Gets himself acclimatized via using uh, the sauna, which is uh, quite uh, apparently quite a lot of athletes do that. Long distance runners, they yes. train in a sauna. Yes, you yes. can say he's getting acclimatized. I think he's doing other things in the sauna. You, you <laughs> never, yeah, but he's not there with um, uh, what's her face. You would think that, Ian. Klaus he's not there with what's her face. Jürgen. Scherzinger. Oh. All those Swedish guys hanging out in the sauna. No man, stop it. Lewis is there. He's not with Scherzinger anymore. That's what I'm saying. Scherzinger. Nicole Scherzlinger. Yeah. Anyway, so my this weekend, I think it's going to take a mighty effort to beat Sebastian Vettel and the, and the Red Bull team. But um, I've, I've got a feeling that um, Mercedes, specifically Lewis Hamilton, is going to be very, very quick. And watch out for Raikkonen and Alonso. Of course, you cannot discount Vettel in, in any of them. But those top four drivers, I think, are the ones that you're going to have to watch uh, come this weekend. Anything can happen when it comes to qualifying tomorrow. One little mistake, and uh, you're in the wall. Uh, so, you know, you could have this really mixed up grid. But I think Vettel just sits there and goes, well, you know what? I am the champion, and if you want to beat me, then you've got to come and try and fetch me. I'm going for a victory by Lewis Hamilton for um, to, uh, Sunday's Grand Prix. Oh, yes, please. And this Formula One feature was proudly brought to you by Pirelli and Tiger Wheel and Tire. Stand a chance to win a trip to any 2014 F1 Grand Prix. And you can find out more at TWT.TO. trip for two to any 2014 Formula One Grand Prix of your choice. Plus, you can double your chances when you buy any two or more Pirelli tyres. Get to your nearest Tiger Wheel and Tyre to enter. Only at... Tire. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gears with Sasha Martinengo. On balls.co.za.